Hey everybody! We are still working on Judy Moody number one. Um, trying to think if I have anything interesting to say for our little pre-reading chat time. And I don't think I do. I'm really not an interesting person, my friends. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to leave in the comments and as long as they're appropriate, I will answer in an upcoming video. Uh, one of my friends at school was joking with me that she didn't think I talked enough and I was reading too much, so here I am talking. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> let's continue. Judy Moody was in a mood, the first of the Judy Moody series by Megan McDonald. All right, the next chapter is The Funniest Thing Ever. <clears throat> it was pouring outside. Judy's dad would not let her leave for school without an umbrella, and the only one she could find was her first grade yellow ducky one. I think a yellow ducky umbrella would be awesome, but maybe that's just me. She wouldn't <laughs> she wouldn't open a baby umbrella, so she got soaked clear through. The sun is probably shining over the president's house this second, thought Judy. She felt <laughs> like a bike left out in the rain. I'm not really sure what that means. Frank wants to come over after school too, Rocky told her on the bus. And I have a brand new ten dollar bill from Nene. We can go to Vic's after school and buy something really rare. Do they have any real gold at Vix? was all she said. In spelling, Judy wrote weasels when Mr. Todd had really said measles. In science, when Jessica Finch threw Judy the ball of yarn for their giant spider web, she just dropped it. It rolled out the door just when Ms. Tuxedo, the principal, walked past in high heels. And of the brush, teeth, brush your teeth week assembly, Mr. Tooth picked Judy to be a cavity on stage in front of the whole school. <clears throat> she could not get her mind off stink at the president's house, where she wasn't, seeing all that real gold. Would he get to shake the president's hand, meet the president's daughter, sit in a golden chair? Are flags allowed to talk? She asked Frank. Only if they're talking flags. That did it. There would be no living with stink once he had been to the president's. On the bus ride home, Rocky squirted Frank with his magic nickel. Frank snorted, wiping the drips on his sleeve. Judy pretended it was funny. Really, she was thinking. Stink could be petting the president's puppy right now. This very instant. When Rocky said... I can't wait to go to Vic's, Judy grunted. The three of them half ran through the leftover puddles all the way to Vic's. Rocky didn't even stop to cross through China and Japan the right way. What's the big hurry, she asked. I need something, said Rocky, but there's only one left, and I want to make sure I get it, he said. When they got to Vic's, Rocky went straight to the counter. Over here, Rocky told them, there's still one left. Judy stood on tiptoes to look in a box on top of the counter. Lying in the bottom was a hand. A person's hand. Judy almost screamed. Frank almost screamed too. Then they realized it was made out of rubber. What do you think? asked Rocky. Rare, said Judy. Ace, said Frank. It looks so real. Fingernails and everything. Rocky bought the hand and three fireballs. What are you going to do with your hand? Frank asked. I don't know, said Rocky. I just like it. When they got to Rocky's house, Judy tried to work on her meek collage, but she was not in a funniest thing ever mood. All the funny stuff that had ever happened to her seemed to have gotten up and left. Marched right out of her brain like a line of ants from a picnic. Rocky showed Judy and Frank his finished collage. Here's Thomas Jefferson in the window of my house for where I live. I cut him out of play money. That's good, said Frank, for Jefferson Street. The piece of cloth 
is part of my sling from when I broke my arm. The world's worst thing ever. And here's a toilet paper roll for the TP club. A secret club I'm in, Rocky said, glancing at Judy. What kind of club has toilet paper? asked Frank. If I tell you, it won't be a secret. Who's this? Frank asked Rocky, pointing to a lizard. Houdini, my favorite pet. And who's that guy walking through a brick wall? Frank asked. That's my favorite pet. My mom made a copy of a picture of the real Harry Houdini from a library book. Judy touched a clump of garlic. Are you trying to scare away vampires or something? That's from one time when I ate a whole thing of garlic by mistake. The funniest thing ever was that I stunk like a skunk for a week. How do you eat a whole thing of garlic by mistake? When you figure it out after one bite? Like, like when Jaws ate that hamburger, said Frank. Like stink when he takes his smelly shoes off, said Judy. Is this you? Frank asked. That's me and my magician hat, making a fishbowl disappear. Too bad you can't make stink disappear, said Judy. Too bad I'm done, said Rocky. It would have re been really funny to put the rubber hand on my collage. That's when it happened. An idea. The funniest of all funnies. It orbited Judy's head and landed like a spaceship, the way good ideas do. Rocky, you're a genius! Let's go to my house, Judy said, and bring the hand. You're not a genius, said Rocky. Nobody's home at your house. We could get into all kinds of trouble. Exactly, said Judy. Come on, there's a key hidden in the gutter pipe. Did you forget something? asked Frank. Yes, Judy said. I forgot to play a trick on Stink. Once inside, Judy raced around her house, looking for the perfect spot to leave the hand. A place where Stink would be sure to find it right away. The couch? Toadie's aquarium? The refrigerator? Under his pillow? The bathroom! In the downstairs bathroom, Judy lifted up the toilet seat, just a crack, and perched the hand there, its fingernails hanging over the edge. It looks real, said Rocky. This will scare the president right out of him, said Judy, for sure. Back at Rocky's, Judy, Frank, and Rocky knelt on Rocky's bed. Looking out the window, uh, knelt on Rocky's bed looking out the window. Uh, every time a car zoomed by on Jefferson Street, they yelled, It's them! Finally, Judy saw a blue van for real. Run, she yelled. They're pulling into the driveway. Stink was so excited telling Judy, Rocky, and Frank all about the president's house that Hawaii and Alaska fell off his hat. Why doesn't he go to the bathroom, thought Judy. There's a movie theater, I swear, inside the president's house. And a room with a secret door, no lie. Even a clock that tells you when it's time to take a bath, said Stink. Rare, said Judy. You need one of those. Go into the bathroom, Stink, she wished silently. As if he had heard, Stink stopped his story. Balancing his hat on his head, he walked into the bathroom and shut the door behind him. The lock clicked. Mom and Dad asked Judy about the Mr. Tooth assembly, but her ears were tuned to the bathroom. Ah! screamed Stink. He burst out of the bathroom, hat crashing to the floor, stars flying. Hey, Dad, Mom, there's somebody in the toilet! Judy, Moody, Rocky, and Frank Pearl fell on the floor laughing. <laughs> Alright, that'll be it for now. We will probably finish the book in the next video. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and see you next time for the conclusion of Judy Moody was in a mood. See ya.